Sally sold many seashells by the seashore, but none like the one she had now. The scientist who bought it marveled at the shell and told her she had an ammonite fossil. But what are ammonites? Ammonites are part of the class Cephalopoda, which divided into three orders. The Scolioida, containing the squids and octopuses, Nautiloida, containing the Nautilus, and finally, the Ammonoida, containing the Ammonites. All three of these orders have developed a well-defined head with tentacles around their mouth, lending to their name Cephalopoda, where Cephalo means head and Poda means foot. And like the dinosaurs and mammoths, all Ammonites have gone extinct. What we know about their anatomy, life history, ecology, and habitat are from the fossils and studying the behavior of living cephalopods. And although you may think living organisms observed are nautiloids, octopuses and cuttlefish provide more insight, as they are more closely related to ammonites. Despite being very similar in body shape, ammonites and nautiloids independently evolved. Ammonoida are believed to have evolved from a small order Bactratina, appearing in the mid-Devonian nearly 400 million years ago and prospered for well over 300 million years through the Paleozoic and Mesozoic era. During these 300 plus million years, the ammonites went through incredible changes, giving rise to unique kinds of ammonites, with bizarre shell types that have confounded scientists as to why they would evolve this way. These bizarre ammonites were dominant and abundant in the oceans of the late Triassic, approximately 190 million years ago, to the late Cretaceous, approximately 60 million years ago. When the ammonites went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, an exceptionally large amount of fossils were formed. With ammonites preserving very well, the ammonites are found around the globe and used extensively in biostratigraphy, which is the discipline of determining the age of rock layers from the fossils that are found within them. Ammonite fossils are used for many things such as helping create geological maps, being culturally significant, producing beautiful art pieces, and contributing to mythology. The ammonites are truly valuable and fascinating contribution to the fossil record and shaping what life was like those millions of years ago. For more cool videos on ammonites, check out part 2 and part 3 on our channel.